are you learning differential geometry the right way do you know how much time you should dedicate for each chapter have you calculated the growth path is it going up down or is it lying in the same place well in this video i will be answering to all these questions as you know this video is in continuation of my earlier video lesson number 16 and as you know that this is a 15 days journey where we are trying to learn the fundamentals of differential geometry we have already covered the first seven days and now we are embarking on the last phase of our journey from day 8 to day 15 my name is Shaunak and you are watching this video on my channel physics for students welcome to lesson number 17 on mastering the basic concepts from first day to the 15th day now before I go ahead I would request sincerely to those who have not watched the part 1 that is lesson number 16 please go ahead and watch this video it, I have given it this in the i button otherwise it is also there in the playlist of my differential geometry so in case the viewers uh, I mean to say the, you have missed it or you have not been able to go through that here is a quick recap but still I would request this is just a recap uh, the details of the video the learning outcomes the number of hours all are given there so this is something we have done day one we started with introducing differential geometry which are mostly the historical background why we need differential geometry and the basic concepts and terminologies day two we started with curves in space as I told that manifold before going into manifold we need to learn the curves and that is the methodology that we are following day three we completed surface in space which is mostly the three-dimensional subject uh, uh, objects and the mathematics in that day four we completed vector fields which is a more of a thing which you all already covered the curl the divergence etc but this is required in differential geometry now day 5 we completed geodesics now you might be wondering why I have given a red box I will just let you know day 6 we co completed manifold and on day 7 we completed Riemannian geometry these are the seven days topics subtopics etc which has already been covered in lesson number 16 now before we start with lesson number 17 that is the eighth day of the learning because these are a kind of a complex or it is a different kind of a mathematics I would request the viewers or the students before you start with day 8 please go for a revision of those topics if you go for a revision of those topics it is better so that the learning from day number 8 will be easy now if you have watched my earlier video I have already given that there might be an extension of the 15th day to a 16th or 17th day why it is that I have not mentioned this is which I am going to mention in the next part of the video because I want you to do a kind of a little bit more study on what is called Riemannian geometry and Riemannian geometry will take some time to understand the mathematics is extensive so I want to show you what are the topics and subtopics of Riemannian geometry we are covering the number of hours that I have mentioned is not strictly that you will learn on those hours it can be more better it would be if, if you learn in less time so first is that there's a two hours topic to introduction to Riemannian geometry which will cover the key concepts principles applications and importance in mathematics and physics then we will start with the metric spaces of manifolds which will be basically metric tensors definition of properties of manifolds tangent spaces tangent vectors and coordinate system then we will start with the Riemannian metric which will be basically the famous levi civita connection this is extensively used in general theory of relativity geodesics curvature tensor Gaussian curvature Ricci curvature and scalar curvature so first one two and three it would take around four plus to six plus five eleven hours of study then we will go into what is called geodesics although we have covered geodesics in the first lesson but this is a little bit more on geodesics especially the solutions and the Jacobi fields we will then cover differential forms and integration we will which would include differential forms exterior interior derivatives Stokes theorem and its application uh, just to remind Green's theorem and Stokes theorem is something very fundamental to differential geometry which we would be covering here but this also comes in Riemannian geometry and finally a one hour study on the application of Riemannian geometry because try to understand until and unless you learn or do the application all those are will be just in the books and uh, it will be just mere equations so general relativity Einstein field equations differential geometry cosmology computer vision robotics and machine learning 
out of this general relativity and Einstein field equation I have already covered in my playlist in differential um, general theory of relativity you go and watch over there I've got many videos explaining the benefit of learning Riemannian geometry and why tensors are required in in uh, in uh, general theory of relativity. So a total number of 19 hours of extended study will be required. Now you can d divide these 19 hours into maybe 5 hours uh, each day and make it around 4 days or you can do 9 hours each day and make it 2 days. So I have kept it in general 4 or for 3 or uh, 4 days extension. So if you are uh, ending on 15 it will automatically go to 18th. So this is the extension of hours that I wanted to show you. All set and done now we need to look into the approach by the word approach I mean to show you exactly in calendar calendar what are the things which are going and what are the things that we will be understanding so when we talk of approach I here is the calendar as I told that it is always better to start on Friday because on Saturdays and Sundays you go for party etc and you generally will forget certain thing and that is better to recap on Monday so we are starting on the eighth day remember we have covered one to seven day and this eighth day the first day will require a lot of time yes uh, why I will explain you later then uh, what we will do is this 11th and 12th day 9th and 10th day will, won't be a problem 11th and 12th day you might again start feeling frustrated and you will take a little bit of more time time consumption will be more for certain reason then on 13th and 14th day you will start feeling extremely happy because you are co coming to the completion of the course and there are very simple and easy topics being covered and on the 15th day uh, you will be happy but you will feel confused and you will feel delighted now why confused because there are a lot of things which might be coming just as a surface level but further studies will help you to assimilate that in your brain so you might feel a little bit confused okay so we start with day 8 so day 8 first thing why I told you because we are dealing with a very diff uh, I would say heavy subject which is called differential forms and is going to take some time the mathematical prerequisites will be multivariable calculus linear algebra and integrals and the subtopics will be definition and properties exterior derivative integration of differential forms and applications of differential form it will take number about four hours but it might go further depending upon the way you take up mathematics learning objective would be introduce the concept of differential geometry and uh, in uh, 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 differential forms and how you can work with exterior derivatives in integrating differential forms learning outcome would be simple understand the role of differential forms which is a very important role in differential geometry and you would be able to compute exterior derivatives and perform integration on differential forms let me tell you differential forms might take four hours to five or six hours but that is absolutely okay that is fine because it is a completely new way of thinking abstract mathematics day nine we will start with something like very fundamental it won't take too much time that is green and stokes theorem the mathematical prerequisite remains the same and the topics will be subtopics will be line integrals surface integrals divergence theorem planar vector fields and line integrals on the plane number of hours might be 4 or it might vary between 2.5 to 4 this is very simple I think you won't take much time so the learning objective lies in studying the fundamental theorem of calculus in differential geometry because this is very fundamental and understand the statement and the proof of Green's and Stokes theorems. Learning outcome very simple you gain a deep understanding of Stokes theorem and its significance in differential geometry. Now I would like to tell you something that if on day 9 you are unable to understand Green's and Stokes theorem please go back and study because there are a lot of mathematics lot of proofs which we will see will depend on green and stokes theorem so please uh, do consider it uh, seriously line integral surface integrals divergence theorem you might already know because these are something not specific to math uh, differential geometry I think if you are doing calculus or you are dealing with electricity magnetism or you have already done but that is fine and just a kind of a note that you might know already certain things that is why the number of hours will be less day 10 will start with something called coordinate transformation and covariant der derivatives fairly easy topic so multivariable calculus linear algebra and partial equations you need to understand uh, coordinate transformation very importantly covariant derivatives why it takes place because you will see on the curved surface even the basis of the vectors are changing and you need to understand Christoffel symbols and very important geodesic on a parallel transport 
if you go back to my differential geometry video you will see i have got a uh, you know quite a number of videos on why we require parallel transport why uh, christoffel symbols are required i think if you go to the mathematics part 2 and 3 uh, of the mathematics of general relativity you will find i have already covered christoffel symbols i am about to cover the christoffel symbols in different metrics like schwarzschild metric and other black holes but that will take some time so this is the these are the subtopics number of hours yeah i think four is fair enough learning objective will be study the transformation properties you will learn how to compute very importantly covariant derivatives and you will understand that christoffel symbols as i call it these are correction terms from the euclidean space how you're moving you will also learn come to know a wonderful topic of parallel transport and you will understand the concept of geodesic parallel transport and its implications in uh, geometric implications okay so we turn the page and we are going to day 11 this is again a kind of a i would say it is going to take some time because we will be covering curvature and connection and uh, in curvature and connection the most integral most important part which comes is riemann curvature tensor and if you see the equation is quite long there are indices there are tensors so i mean to say yeah it will is going to take some time so i have mentioned the number of hours to be four but it might go because the parallel transport is already being covered so the learning objective very fundamental is that you will understand the understanding of differential geometry riemann curvature mostly ricci curvature tensor and other relationships and parallel transport now if you have already gone through that extended study of riemannian geometry you will see that curvature tensor and the parallel transport is already covered in that extensive 19 hours of study so automatically this will be overlapping and you will be learning it easily again riemann curvature tensor and ricci curvature tensor i have already covered in einstein's field equations in my playlist in general theory of relativity you i will be happy if you go and watch it learning outcome very simple be able to compute the riemann and ricci curvature tensor for a given metric when i say given metric there are many metrics right uh, in general we will take a simple metric otherwise there is schwarzschild metric there is this uh, what you called uh, you know, lehman uh, uh, walkerson friedrich model there are many metrics which are there but we will just understand with a very simple metric and understand the concept of connection in this connection you might also say uh, get something which is called a sectional curvature but that is also fine and is true in parallel transport okay we move to day 12 and here we will get the very very integral part very important and it is going to take time this is called galsus bonnet theorem now galsus bonnet theorem is something very integral very important and very central and the mathematical prerequisites although they are the same and i have added in red you need to understand riemannian geometry without that galsus bonnet theorem is not i won't say not possible but it would be difficult so riemannian geometry because you have already learned you are already there in the mathematical prerequisites here are the subtopics quite extensive i understand curvature of surfaces geodesics on surfaces you also under need to understand a little bit of euler characteristics on topology because euler characteristics on those genus uh, what is the v plus e minus f equals to 2 what are the vertices etc I think that is uh, that will be there but that, that does not mean that you are learning topology but just the Euler characteristics so that you can understand which shape has got the Euler characteristic and which is not statement and proof of Galsus Bonnet theorem exterior derivative very important wedge product and Stokes theorem for differential forms the number of hours I mentioned in bold as six it might take more time because this contains a lot of mathematics into it learning objective will be investigate the relationship between curvature and topology in differential geometry yes because Galsus bonnet theorem is a kind of a bridge once you do you will understand so it will be a kind of a, a relationship between curvature and topology learning outcome is what is Galsus bonnet theorem and how does it relate curvature to topology and how does the Euler characteristic capture the topological properties in a manifold right so let us be happy we are almost approaching to the end day number 13 do not consider to be an unlucky day it's a very lucky day because Lie groups and Lie algebras are very simple but remember that in case you want to go a little bit more into Lie groups and Lie algebra understand that you need apart from calculus and linear algebra a little bit of group theory but that is very minimal i think you can manage 
So the subtopics would be Lie groups, tangent spaces and Lie algebra, Lie group homomorphism, isomorphism, Lie group actions and orbit space, Lie algebra representation, Lie algebra cohomology and Lie algebra structures and classification. This would again take a little bit time, maybe six hours, plus minus uh, you can do that. You will understand the interplay between Lie groups, Lie algebra and differential geometry and will start enjoying it, believe me. Uh, the learning outcome would be demonstrating and understanding Lie groups and Lie algebras, ability to analyze and interpret Lie group actions, proficiency in computing Lie algebra brackets, commutators and matrix, and competence in applying Lie group homomorphisms and Lie algebra homomorphism. So that would complete day number 13. And now we come to day number 14, which is fiber bundles. I won't say it is a difficult topic, but quite a new topic. And uh, the subtopics would be introduction to fiber bundles, fiber bundles and manifolds, vector bundles and fiber spaces, principal bundles and Lie groups, fiber bundle homotopy and classification, and fiber bundle cohomology and obstruction theory. I would like to tell you that you can uh, skip the last one, cohomology and obstruction theory. It is, uh, I, I mean to say, it is good, but it won't be required. Otherwise, you will again go and study further cohomology, which is quite a wide subject, right? So you see the learning objective, understand the fundamental concept and properties of fiber bundles and their application in mathematical physics mathematics and physics learning outcome very clear define and describe the concept of fiber bundle and their key properties identify and classify different types of fiber bundles recognize and analyze the relationship between fiber bundles and associated bundles right so that completes our 14 days journey now this is not exactly that you will require 14 days depending you might take more you can take less Okay, now we come to the last day, but remember this is a very, very important day for all of us. Day number 15, I have kept it as consolidation and consolidation is required. Why? I will tell you. First of all, you need to review the concepts which you have learned, uh, which are basically in differential geometry as manifold, tangent spaces, space, charts and coordinate system. Refresh your understanding of fundamental notions like curved surfaces and their parametrization. I would request you to do so, otherwise it will become difficult. Number two would be, please focus on the fundamental theorems in differential geometry such as the Gauss's bonnet theorem, Stokes theorem or the fundamental theorem curves and surfaces do spend some time in understanding the statement, assumptions and implications. We come to the third which is called study of geometric objects. Here I would request you to expose various geometric object studies in differential geometry including geodesics, curvature, torsion and connections. Review the formulas also and equations associated with these objects and understand what is their geometry interpretation or implication fourth I would request you please use certain kind of visual aids like nowadays with AI coming up you have lot of diagrams graphs interactive software to visualize and understand the geometric concept you can use visual representation which will enhance your understanding and make complex ideas much more accessible point number five would be review the key formulas and uh, theorems this is required please do compile a list of formulas theorems and properties and try to memorize or try to write down so that you ensure that you have a very solid and a clear grasp of the essential mathematical tools and the result that sixth one please do seek clarification because it might happen you're doing a self-study go to your professor and seek that whether you have understood or not uh, Consult additional sources, ask questions to your professors on forums, etc. And understand any lingering doubts that will help you cons consolidate your knowledge. Point number seven, self-assessment, very much required. Test your understanding by attempting some kind of practice results, sample problems or mini tests, etc. Please do assess your performance and identify areas where you again need to do a re-practice. Now, uh, I have told you in brief what are the areas that you need to review. Now, I will be coming to very specific areas that you need to review and consolidate. Number one would be manifold. Very important, including smooth manifolds and their differentiable structures. Try to get hold of the concept of charts, atlases, coordinate system and transition function. Next coming up, very important are tangent spaces. Uh, 
try to understand and get hold of a clear understanding of the definition of tangent vectors what are tangent bundles what are tangent spaces isomorphism also try to get a good understanding of the geometric ta representation of tangent vectors and their transformation properties coming up next very importance on curves and surfaces focus on the properties of curves and surfaces review the concept which we have earlier learned such as parametrization also do a little bit of sums on tangent vectors arc length curvature and torsion if possible do revise the first and the second fundamental form which is there in my earlier video and also the gaussian curvature and do a little bit maths on geodesics the uh, next one which is very extensive and we dedicated 19 plus hours that is Riemannian geometry uh, I mean to say do the metrics associated with the curvature uh, please write down again the concepts such as Riemannian metric what actually is a Levi-Civita connection how the geodesics and the curvature tensor please uh, try to understand the very close relationship between curvature sectional curvature and Ricci curvature if you go to my video on differential uh, general theory of relativity you will see that at one point when I am explaining the mathematics I have dealt with what is called sectional curvature so please do understand curvature sectional curvature and Ricci curvature the relationship next come that uh, topic which is called differential forms I'm going to say you can just go through that on uh, exterior derivative integral form Stokes theorem etc fundamental theorems again are very very important do not skip on that curves uh, uh, Gauss's theorem bonnet theorem statements and why these assumptions are there then you can go to coordinates transformation which is fairly an easy subject you can review uh, your understanding about differential tangent vectors transform under coordinate changes what is the chain rule etc then you can do a kind of a visualization now this is something either you can draw if you go to my uh, playlist you will see that why we face the problem in visualization I've made a complete different video there's something called intrinsic geometric geometry and extrinsic geometry intrinsic geometry particularly is very difficult to visualize I've given certain tips extrinsic geometry is not so anyway to uh, summarize you try to visualize those curves surfaces and geometric things that you have learned uh, last point that I would like mention is that please do solve certain problems do not shy away from that because without solving the problems curvature calculations geodesic surface properties the, this would elude you you won't be able to understand and finally summary and review all the topics that you have learned uh, especially those key concepts etc which uh, I, I, I just told you in the in a few minutes uh, uh, just in the earlier slide right okay so now if we look into this 15 or 18 days calendar then let us quickly look where do we stand so we started on the first day Friday I told you on 7th you will start losing hope on the 8th day you will recall a lot of time on 11th and 12th day you will feel angry frustrated uh, and you might feel uh, there is a need for a consumption of more time 13th and 14th will be uh, you will feel extremely happy because you are coming to the end of the program and on the 15th day you will feel happy but you will be confused and you will be delighted so taking this this is a kind of a uh, you know chart where how you're covering but these are all visuals I would like to okay 18 day it might get extended I would like to show you whatever I have talked in a kind of a learning curve and how your learning curve will look like so here it goes up and down and then stabilize and up and you reach the goal so you see this down when the curve is going down are typically the seventh and the eighth day right and here again now on the 11th and the 12th day the graph is going very much down then again on the 13th and 14th day things are going very down and then it will uh, increase and on the day 15 finally you have reached your goal so you can keep this graph right on your table or you know you just paste it in front of your whiteboard etc because this would be a kind of an average learning graph for differential geometry basic fundamentals if you're taking a time chart of 15 days so you will start very happily then you will go down feel frustrated and again it will go up then again you will feel down and this is how it will go up and down 
so that's it for uh, this video i'm very thankful for those who have watched my video please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel physics for students click on the bell icon to get all the notification from physics for students i'm available in this email id contact dot physics for students at gmail dot com i can uh, i will always answer all your queries here is a separate channel on general theory of relativity called general relativity explained on youtube and further you can follow me on instagram facebook and on my linkedin channel a uh, linkedin pages so this is the kind of a complete chart or graph but uh, but but understand that this is not yet done because in the next video i will be describing each and every chapters and i will be recommending what are the books and how to study for all those 15 days the chapters and sub chapters but i think i have been able to give you a comprehensive clear idea on a growth chart how we will do a guide a, curry, a kind of a guidance on those different chapters building the fundamentals physics for students will be soon back with few more interesting and many more interesting videos on differential geometry till then goodbye